Hey guys, welcome back to Pharaoh Iron and Customs. Uh, today, um, not back on the car, obviously. <laughs> um, we're getting ready for our vacation that's coming up. And while I was on vacation, I want to work on guitar number four. Um, so we have a few days before we leave, but I need to get this body straight because I'm not going to take, you know, a bunch of woodworking tools with me on vacation to do this. So what I did, um, base number four is going to be uh, a modified Jupiter Thunderbird shape. I mean, or is based off of the Jupiter Thunderbird shape. And I got picked up these three um, uh, one by twelve uh, that is poplar, and that's what I'm gonna make the body out of and it's going to have to be laminated so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the middle section i'm going to go on and um, plane the middle section down to half inch and once i get the body cut out and shaped i'm going to plane another um, eighth off of the top and an eighth off of the bottom so that we can get so it'll be an inch and 1.75 which hopefully won't be um you know so thick i mean that's too thick for this body right here uh two layers is not thick enough and three layers is too too thick so if you look at the template um it's actually a little bigger than the boards are wide so i'm gonna have to do a little reshaping on the bottom i'm i'm totally okay with that to make it a little smaller than this that's kind of what i'm going for anyway um so when I get it routed out, I'm just going to get on my, my uh, uh, oscillating belt sander and, you know, finish out the bottom the way that I want it. So, um, so some things to note here. This triangle is what the back cover is supposed to look like. This is a chambered guitar, so I need to get the body shape cut out and these chambers cut out in it. Um, and that's what we're going to do first. First thing I'm going to do is lay out what the shape of the guitar is going to be, cut out a rough shape, um, get these chambers cut out, then we're going to laminate it up and go from there. All right, guys, um, I've got uh, the body shaped. I've actually taken a little more off of it, but it's uh, shaped up really nice. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and route out all parts of the body so they're all the same shape. I think what I'm going to do then is clamp them together, figure out where the pickups and the bridge is going to be, and I'm going to drill some uh, holes so that I can put some dials in them when I get ready to glue the bodies up so the body up so they'll uh, line up. All right, so I'm going to route these out and I'll come back. All right, guys. Uh, Oh, hang on a minute. All right, guys. I got the chambers mount, uh, marked out on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, drill a hole. And I think I'm just going to try to buzz these out with my jigsaw. I really don't have any other... Uh, I don't have a scroll saw, so I don't really have another choice. So I'm going to cut this out. And when I get it cut out and smoothed out, I'll have a uh, template to make the chambers on the bottom and the top. Um, we're going to leave as much meat in the middle of the guitar as possible. Um, you know, bass has a lot of tension on the neck. I think it's upwards of 100 pounds of tension on the neck. So, and this is how, basically how the guitar is set up anyway. It has a section in the middle to give the guitar strength. So I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to hollow the top and the bottom out some. Not much because I got the... Um, I'm going to have to make a belly, like a bevel here on the back side and probably a bevel down at the bottom for the to rest on your knee. Um, and I don't want to get into this hollow part. So let me get that done and I'll come back. All right, guys, I got the chambers cut out. What I did was I cut the middle section out and used the router to uh, use it as a template to route the bottom and the top chambers. Um, I routed the um, top chamber or and the bottom chamber to where I can take off about an eighth of an inch um, on both sides 
and it'll still be a quarter inch thick. So um, I'm gonna get the bottom glued up. I'm gonna do that off camera. I'm just gonna take and shoot a couple of screws in here. That's um, just gonna get some screws that are less than uh, what the thickness of this is, which is like an inch and 18 and just shoot some screws to hold it down and clamps on the outside glue one side up and tomorrow night i'll glue the other side up so i'll come back uh just as soon as i get glued up and get to uh something else 